Hello and welcome back to Buddy. I am Junior. So last time I finally got a jump scare. So th that, that little bit of hope I have for this game so far, that is what's going to keep me playing for now. Oh, nope, 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 not do that. That button? That button, okay. Some, some words on that menu would be nice. Let's see, I, uh, I remember what this is. It's the uh, stump. The angry stump. I wish I could sprint, that would be nice. Still a thing I would like. There we go. Oh, that's right, X is to jump. I wanted to press A for, sh for obvious reasons, because most every other game, is A is jump. Except like, Worms. Oh, Worms WMD, I believe. I, I was just watching Jacksepticeye play that. Eh, it might be a game I'd like to get into. Never really been a fan of the Worms series. It's just not my style. How do I get up there again? I do believe I have to climb onto that branch right here. Yes. Uh, I remember there's spikes at the bottom of the other side. I don't know about the rat, though. I have figured out, though, that I am not a plushy cat. That is a thing that I read up on. Very little bit. Oh. I don't know if I noticed that in the background, all the impaled characters. But if I didn't notice it then, I definitely noticed it now. I do remember you, number 11. <sighs> I hear something off to the right. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. So yes, I see the spikes there, and I accidentally just found out I can step on this log. My god, I can't hear a damn thing. Oh. There we go. Actually, I heard way too much. I couldn't hear myself speaking. That's what it was. I see how it is. I see how it is. Not sure why I waited on that rock. Come on. Wake up. I wish that would happen in one hit. That'd be nice. Alright. So, I, I will meet you when I'm back on the other side. Yes, hello, number 11. Keep being a creeper. That That's your only job. Let's see, it was down here. So I have to make the jump. Oh! God! Fucking damn it. The cat's a little slidey. He's got soap on his feet. Yes, I see you. I know. You're so angry. Once more up the trees. Yes, hello again, number 11. You're not changing. You were never creepy to begin with. You're not creepy now.
One thing I don't understand about that stump is why does he wind up for so long? And why is there a boulder up a couple branches of a tree that is so easily moved by tremors? On the plus side, I finally made that jump on the first try, and I wasn't even looking. I'm just... That awesome. And then I messed it up right there. <sighs> yes, number 11 is still there. Something that is definitely confirmed by the same noise. There we go. Who almost slid off that time? No! Why? Why does the cat slide so much? That is not what a cat does on the mane of a stuffed lion. Wakey, wakey, come on. Not even a declawed cat would be that unathletic. Un uh, not really unathletic, but uh, unable to grab its footing. You know, I come to realize that I have given this game a lot of crap. Mainly because number 11 here, um, mainly because the controls aren't the greatest and the visual effects that are supposed to make it seem like an old movie, but other than the visual effects and the sliding cat, I, I really do enjoy the sound design. And the art style itself, if it wasn't so distorted by the old film elements to it, I think it would be more visually appealing. But as it stands with the staticky effect in the background and the, the effects like the old deterioration burns, lamp burning, that you can find on these old real films. I don't think it helps with this one. This game. Because even though I find... I find way too many flaws that I have a tendency to whine about, this game does have a nice little art style. And, like I said, the sound design is pretty good. Especially with the... <laughs> Flock, the flock, not, it's not a flock, it's a murder. Especially with the murder of crows in the background. Maybe not so much number 11 here. See, if, if the controls were a little, a little less, well, a little more usable, and that bullshit right there would stop happening. I've spent 12 minutes on this section alone. But if maybe the controls were improved, and I could stick the goddamn landings better... I'm still a cat! Maybe I would sing more praises about it. And there's one detail I think I've been overlooking the entire time is the cat's adventure is taking place in a distorted reality. I'm not sure if I mentioned it when I first started playing, or even in the second episode, but it is played in a distorted reality where I 
I, the player, have to figure out what is real and what is not. Like, um, like father, the spider father thing. That is obviously not part of reality. And the concept of that, not being able to uh, know what is real and what's not, what is part of the, I, I believe it's the girl, the little girl's imagination. Ver oh, God, I, I went off on a tangent that I don't remember exactly where I was. Ah, yes. Yeah, I, 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 th I have definitely cut a little bit of rambling, so you don't have to listen to me talk about nonsense, even though that's mostly what I talk about. But um, back to distorted reality, trying to figure out what's real and what's not. This is all the quote-unquote distorted reality of the little girl who's been handing me pumpkins or leaving me pumpkins. Hello, number 11. Um, where am I going with this? Oh yeah, this distorted reality is from the mind of that little girl, from the owner of the cat. There we go, now I'm getting used to it. All right, finally making hello. Is that mom? That was not in the trailer, and that looks pretty nice. And that is probably a crow's nest. I guess it's not. Achievement unlocked. Is that you, mom? Oh, God. Oh, hello, hanging monkey. So I'm thinking I'm picking up a story out of this. And now that I'm thinking of it, I am intrigued. I also still think I'm approaching something that's chowing down on probably another impaled person. But, um... I'm thinking... I'm gonna pause that so nothing happens. Here's what I believe is the story so far. The little girl, who I, I met pretty close into the beginning, who gave me the pumpkin... Well, more like dropped it in front of me. She got the cat just before her mother died in a car crash, which is the image we just saw. And because of that, her father turned into an alcoholic. And with, with the way a child's mind works, because I may be 22, but I, I believe I'm still in tune with my childish self. With the way the child's mind works, and going with distorted realities, is that because of dad's drinking following mom's death, it's turned him, in the eyes of the little girl, it's turned dad into a monster. And because of the fear the little girl now has over her father, her cat is now her number one source of love. And all these impaled characters are all like friends and family members who have come and go that didn't comfort her as much as... I'm assuming the cat's name is Buddy. So as much as Buddy could comfort her, because children can get very connected to pets. I know this very well. And the other creepy animals, such as rats and, for me, spiders, in the eyes of a child, in the mind of a child, these things are so much scarier than they are in reality. So that, that's the idea I have so far. And she's taking out some sort of I think this might be a game, an art piece about grief. Ah, the rat. You're going to notice me, aren't you? 
Apparently not. Oh, nope. You're running ahead. You're probably still gonna come after me. Okay, there's a hair hanging from my hat, and it's catching the reflection of my chroma keyboard. So now that this game has me think. Whoa! Hi! Not much of a scare, more of a surprise, but hi. Um, now that this game has me thinking, I, I think I'm starting to enjoy it a little more. This is probably where the little girl goes to retreat, because Dad's not taking care of the house, and there are things that can... Oh, really? This is just gonna be a box full of joy now, ain't it? Hey, that's a game I want to play. At some point. No. No, wait. Is that what that symbol meant? Is this... a puzzle? Riveting experience. I'm in the dark. Oh, okay, so I wasn't moving anywhere for that. Yes, I understand. No, wait. Is there something outside I need to grab? Okay, so somewhere around here there is a weighted something. Did I drop down from, like, a stone at the beginning? Drop down from a tire. There we go, that's what's up. So that whole black screen section that you just saw? Absolutely useless. I was going nowhere. I was up against a wall. But now that I'm about to have lights, I should find out what I was up against. Because with the weight on that pressure plate, apparently I don't have as much light as I thought I had. The elevator should be working, but I'm intrigued if there's... Nope! No light beyond it. What? Okay, so the tire is not for the pressure plate. The tire... The tire is so I'm heavy enough to scratch my eye, is so I, I'm heavy enough to activate the weight sensor on the elevator. I'm not, oh yes, I am moving. No. So that's not it. Oh, hello. It looks like there's... Nope. Something stuck in the gears up there. So how far over can I go with the tire in hand? Am I making progress? Ooh, ooh, yes. I was making progress. Not sure where to. Apparently I'm not making progress. I've got to a slightly elevated area. And it didn't help. I don't understand this puzzle. What is the problem I'm having. None of these are interactable. They're all in the foreground. There's not another item there. So I have one tire, one pressure plate, and an elevator that's telling me something about, I'm assuming, weight. 
There has to be something in the dark. I'm gonna try and listen to audio cues. just jumped back down to where I was. Yeah. Didn't do anything when I was there. So that's on top of the tire. I don't understand. You know, I just had a thought. Which involves going back to putting the tire on the pressure plate. Will I have lights beyond the elevator with the tire on the plate? Maybe. Hmm. Okay, game. Pu credit where it's due. This is a pretty damn good puzzle. Well,. No. It's not really a great puzzle. It's just confusing. Right. So that is not... Okay. Okay. So I was trying to do that in the dark, and it wasn't necessary. I guess I will just put that over here. No one needs to know about this. I had the idea. If I had walked a little further, I would have seen the... I would have seen the glow of the light. I take it back. That was a good puzzle. <laughs> So what's going on in the cave, based on what I'm assuming is the story so far? I don't know. This is a long elevator ride. <laughs> oh good, I can't drop off. Not sure why I'd want to. Wasn't me. Am I going to be trapped in the cave to find another exit at the other end of this tunnel? Why'd I say it like that? Uh, the rat is back. do about this, huh? Obviously I'm not going to stand in one spot while I have a sharp clawed hand above me. You know what? I feel that's a red herring the hand going away. So I'm just going to keep... I heard that scraping. Oh, he's still up there. Keep pacing, because I do not feel safe. There's the whooshing. No, not the whooshing. That's the whooshing. So what does that signify? That sound may could 
maybe could use a little more context at times. I guess I feel safe about uh, not moving anymore. Oh, oh, it's slowing down. That was a long ride. Am I now in the mines? So what's the significance of this one rat? He even gave me a present towards the end of the last episode. Well, that's going to be a leap of faith. I, I guess. Oh no. It's one of these puzzles. that one and then the first one and that one Follow that one and that one and the second one I don't know I'm making this up as I go the last one. That one brings him down. This one shifts the middle. Shift, well, not necessarily the, oh no, it, it would be the middle. So it shifts the middle down while pushing the two other ones up. This one shifts the middle up while pushing the other two down. Number two is inactive at the moment. Number one pushed the last one and has also. Okay. So, what I need is number one and number three. Like that. And then that. Followed by two. No, no, that's not it. Two didn't help. One pushes the last one up. Four pushes the last one down. Three pushes two up, or two down, one and three up. That one did not do what I expected it to do. So if I were to move that one, nothing happens. What am I supposed to do? Okay. <sighs> so what if it was like... One, three... do anything to that pillar alone. I, 
Jeez. Hmm. Are the lights guiding me for something? That would be very kind of the lights. Well, what the hell have I done? Oh, okay. How about one, two, nope. One, four? One, three, four. What the hell am I doing? One, three, one, Four. Okay, that seems like it was pretty close, so I'll do that again. One, three. One. Two. Ha! <sighs> that was just luck right there. It's one, three, one, two. I don't like flickering lights in the... I don't like walking on the rails this way. I'm just waiting for the Super 8 film to pop up, meaning there's a cinematic happening. Or, you know, the lights just cut out. That's another thing that could happen. So is the rat going to approach from the darkness? Yes. Kind of. Well, this is reassuring. Well, that didn't really help at all. That one seemed to have done nothing. Oh, good. I'm in the light again. Ah. Well, that's my friend the rat. What are you eating? Okay, he knew I was here very quickly. That's quite a twist of fate for the rat to eat the cat. But I see where I have to go. The chair needs to go around this area. I gotta do it without alerting the rat. It didn't work at all. Note to self. Don't just stand around the rat. What? What am I supposed to do? The camera is literally about to make a new reel, too. If I just push this right into the rat. Nope. That just accelerated the speed at which he kills me. something with the chair. I just don't understand what.
I get it. I think I just got it. I think the rat doesn't like me touching the chair. That's what it is. He's sensing me because I moved the chair. Clever. Oh no. Do I gotta dodge overhead obstacles? Such as that? to see of the rat in this area. I forgot to look ahead. Alright, this is a good enough time to stop. So, I think I'm getting a story out of it, and I think that's going to save the game for me. There's some concepts that I think I might get. I'm probably not, not pulling the concept that the uh, developer intended, but I want to thank you for giving me your time of day so I can throw it out that window over there. And if you like this video for some reason, hit that like button and why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, thank you, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Geronimo! I knew that wouldn't work. This isn't Mario. It's not gonna jump on its head to kill it. <laughs>